Hey everyone, this is Jennifer. Um, I have been in a standard size traveler's notebook for about mm, three or four years now after being in personal rings. And I just filmed an unboxing of this um, creme brulee from Chic Sparrow. And it got me thinking, I have accumulated so many different name brands of standard size notebooks um, that I think <laughs> I think I have enough to share a comparison video with you guys. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you um, some similarities and differences, some of the things I like, some of the things I don't like between several brands. Um, one of those is the Foxy Fix. Um, it's my favorite traveler's notebook company. Unfortunately, they are no longer open, but you can find them on buy, sell, trade group. So I did wanna share with you um, a review of the Foxy Fix and why I love them so much. I will share um, the Creme Brulee from Chic Sparrow. Again, these are all standard or narrow size. Um, I will also share with you the um, Austin leather from Chic Sparrow. And I have this Giglio as well and the dark brown Epoca leather, little peek inside. And you can see already the closure is a little bit different on a Giglio, so I have that to share with you guys. And I also have a custom Vanderspeck. And I have a Moterm planner from AliExpress. So um, that's quite a few, but I thought it would be helpful to compare and contrast them, just the different leather types and the elastics and the spines and kind of um, lay them open so you can see the dimensions. And that makes a big difference if you use like four inserts, six inserts, all of that stuff for me personally really matters when I'm in a traveler's notebook because it changes um, the way that the planners feel in your hand, it changes the way you can flip through things, um, it changes how it looks, obviously, um, if it's chunky or skinny. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at several different traveler's notebooks. Okay, first up, we're gonna take a look at the Foxy Fix. And as I s stated earlier, their website, their business is no longer open. Um, they closed with COVID and I had heard that they were gonna reopen, or that was the plan, but that really has never came to fruition. So if you want a Foxy Fix notebook, I would recommend checking out the Buy, Sell, Trade groups on Facebook, and maybe you can pick one up there. Just to show you some of the basics of the Foxy Fix, um, they come with several di different options. So this first one, this black one, is in their Lush leather. They have several different pocket configurations available. This is the um, pedal pockets. And Foxy Fix offered what they called a standard wide. Um, in traveler's notebook terms, that's like the standard size notebook like Midori. Um, but it has six strings instead of four and it's a little bit wider to accommodate um, extra inserts. So this particular model has the big back pocket and I just wanted to compare that to another Foxy Fix with the big back pocket and the pedal pockets, but this has only four strings. So you can see if I line up this left edge here, it does have about an inch more room. So if you're looking on the buy sell trade and it says wide, it has six strings. If it's just their regular old standard size notebook and it does not say wide, it will just have the four strings. So obviously you can fit more inserts in the wide and you can you know really chunk it up if you just carry four or five inserts, the regular one would probably work for you. Next up, I wanna talk about the spines on the Foxy Fix. So 
since these have back pockets, you kind of have to open it to see the spine, but most of the Foxy Fix Traveler's Notebooks have what they call a reinforced spine, which you can see on this notebook um, that does not have the big back pocket. So it's like an extra piece of leather on the spine that is stitched down. And I wanted to bring that up because um, the Chic Sparrow does not have reinforced spines. So when I open this up and I show you the back, it's just a flat piece of leather. When I open this Foxy Fix up, you can see that spine reinforcement. So this is the Foxy Fix. Most of them come with a reinforced spine, even if they are behind the big back pocket, it's still reinforced. The Chic Sparrow notebooks do not. However, Foxy Fix um, did offer some of their leathers without a reinforced spine. So this is just a four string, not a wide, in their Santa Fe leather. And you can see that I chose this notebook to not have any spine reinforcement. Now I did that on the Foxy Fix website when they were still open. So I only point that out to you um, so that if you are looking on the buy sell trade groups, um, you ask if it has a big back pocket. If it doesn't, um, what the um, pocket configurations are, if it's wide and has six strings, if it's just their normal notebook with four, and if it has a reinforced spine or not. So um, Foxy Fix offered a lot of different customizations, which is why I think they became so popular. You could pick the stitching color and you could pick the elastic, you could pick the pocket configurations, you could pick a big back pocket or no back pocket, you could pick four strands or six strands. So lots of different customization um, options available through the Foxy Fix. So again, if you're interested in that, hit up a buy, sell, trade. Um, and next we're gonna move into looking at the Foxy Fix compared to the Chic Sparrow. And to keep things equal here, I'm gonna open this Santa Fe that has no spine reinforcement from the Foxy Fix. And I'm just gonna lay that next to the um, Chic Sparrow, narrow is what Chic Sparrow calls it. Still a standard size notebook. Um, they, they do not offer a wide for the standard size. So, you know, you could only have four elastics on the Chic Sparrow. However, they offer what they call a wide, which you could use the same size inserts as the standard size or narrow size, and you would have a little bit more room to stuff it. Make it a little bit of a thicker notebook like the Foxy Fix six strand. So that's an option, but as far as dimensions go, no spine reinforcement from the Foxy Fix. The narrow creme brulee from Chic Sparrow, you can see they are like exactly equal. So if you are used to a Foxy Fix without the spine reinforcement and you pick up a Chic Sparrow who is still open, they, they are currently taking orders, um, that would work for you. And then I just want to put this on top. This is a Foxy Fix with the spine reinforcement, just the four strand, and it is also the same size as those two notebooks. Okay, I'm going to remove this one. We're going to keep these two down for now and take a look at the Giglio. Now, this one does not have a clasp or anything. It's just their basic version of their Giramondo. And the elastic closure is actually on the back. It's not on the spine. And the strand configuration is a little bit different on the Giglio as well. So you can see the elastics on the Foxy Fix and the Chic Sparrow um, go horizontally. The Giglios are vertical up and down. And the pocket configuration has these card slots with a pocket here and a secretarial pocket. And the thing that I really struggled with was that because of these vertical um, eyelets for the elastic, you really only have two full-size strands 
because the two underneath that are shorter. And some people are fine with that. It just made it a little bit more difficult for me to get my inserts to lay how I like them to lay. So there's a look at the inside. And then let's take a look at dimensions. So it is kind of hard to tell, but I have this left edge lined up on all three notebooks and the Giglio is even more narrow than either of these two notebooks. So when I was in this Giglio, I found that I could only really have three inserts with some dashboards um, to make them fit comfortably or else the inserts were coming, you know, all the way to the edge or past the edge of the notebook. So just to keep that in mind, if you're ordering a Julia, we will go ahead and keep those down for reference and pull in the Vanderspec. This was a custom order um, in the fact that I did add a chunky clasp instead of having an elastic, clo elastic closure. Um, it does have a horizontal um, eyelet. The inside, I don't think I customized the inside of this one. I think it just came like this with some card slots and then these two slots here, pocket, slot, secretarial. And I would say this is my favorite pocket configuration if I had to pick one from a traveler's notebook. This also has four strands. I had no issues getting inserts into this one. Um, has a pin loop. And if I line that up on the left edge, you can see that it is the same size as the Giglio, which again is smaller than the Foxy Fix and the Chic Sparrow. So that is the Vanderspeck Nomad. And then I'll go ahead and open this one up and keep that in frame for reference and talk about the Moterm standard size notebook. So this comes with a clasp. One of the things I like is that it comes with two poppers. So if you have it kind of a skinny setup, you can put it on the, this far one. If you have a fatter, chunkier setup, you can keep it on that. It does come with a pin loop. And it has a zipper pocket here, a pocket, secretarial pocket, and it's kind of hard to tell. One, two, three, four card slots, and then this pocket. And then on the back, card pocket, slip pocket, secretarial pocket. It comes with four strands. And then let's take a look um, at the dimensions. It does have a big back pocket, no spine reinforcement on this one and I forgot to mention but no spine reinforcement on the Julio or the Vanderspec and if I line that up it looks like it is pretty even to the Chic Sparrow and the Foxy Fix and just a little bit wider than the Julio or the Vanderspec. And then lastly, I'm just gonna talk briefly about a leather comparison. I will say I am not a leather connoisseur. All I know is that I like, I like leather, um, all different sorts and different kinds of leather. So let's talk a little bit about that. Okay, so the great leather debate. Again, I am not a professional or um, someone that knows a ton about leather. I'll just tell you what I have noticed. The Foxy Fix, again with those customizations, offered a lot of different leathers. Just sitting here in this stack, I have a Lush, an Antique Brass, and a Santa Fe. And again, very different types of leather. This one's squishy and pebbly, very floppy, not very much um, stiffness or stability. The antique brass definitely has a more stiff feel. It's a pretty thick leather as well. And then of these three, this is the thinnest, the Santa Fe, 
and it marks up really easy. Um, it looks totally different. It has patinaed. It was a really light, almost natural looking color. Um, but again, check those buy sell trade groups and depending on what type of leather you like, if you like a different feel, a different texture or how it looks um, or the floppiness of different leathers, that will help you make a decision um, on picking up one of the Foxy's from the buy sell trade. Okay, so that's just a little bit about the Foxy fix and of course, there are lots and lots and lots of other leather, leathers that I can show you that were available, like the Spice Leather. Um, that comes to mind. I'm looking at my collection off to the side, but um, the Boss Babe Leather, lots of different options. So that's just a little bit about the Foxy Fix. Now let's talk about the Vanderspeck Leather. I will be a little bit honest and brutal with you here. Um, I loved this leather when it arrived and I opened my car door and I live in central Illinois and it was raining and this was the very first day that I had this planer and you can see the raindrops on here and I didn't touch it. I heard not to rub it like the oil in your fingers would make it worse, um, but no, they have not gone away. Now, for some people, that's fine, but I kind of moved out of it because I was so heartbroken about that. I might at some point go ahead and move back into it. Um, I think why it bothered me was because this was a pretty pricey notebook. In comparison to some of my other notebooks that I own, I do not baby my notebooks at all. Like, even though this was more expensive, I wasn't going to put it in a special pouch or do anything like that. It literally just has to be a notebook that I can toss in my work bag or my purse and go. So that's just kind of the danger of that mindset, I guess. So, um, but as far as the leather goes, this is the Janet leather from Vanderspeck, which a lot of people love. And like I said, I do love the leather. Um, it feels really nice. Um, it has patina just a little bit. I've had it in its dust bag on a shelf for a while but I do love the leather. And if you like the smell of a good leather, this is a good leather for that. Um, I think I'm sniffing it. I can still smell it. Um, when it arrived, I can smell it like while it was still in the box. So just a wonderful, nice leathery smell. Um, these particular Foxy fixes that I mentioned, I did not notice a strong leather smell. But that is the Janet Leather in Light Brown from Vanderspeck. Let's look at the Giglio Leather next. So this is the Dark Brown Epoca Leather. And let me smell it. If you leather people out there know, you're, you might be laughing or understand. One of the two. It also has more of a leather smell than these Foxy Fix notebooks do but not quite as strong of like a nice leather boot smell that the Vanderspeck does. Um, this leather did not seem to mark up a whole lot. Again, I was not gentle with it. I just tossed it um, in my purse, in my work bag and went on the go. Um, you can kind of see maybe just a little bit of a scratch here or there, but they kind of rub out. Um, this doesn't have too much pebbly texture. It's got some texture, but it's still pretty smooth. And we'll just hold those up so you can see the difference. Vanderspeck, Giglio. Again, it's kind of like comparing apples to oranges because leather is so different. But this is what I have to show you, so that's what I'm doing. Okay. Next up, we will talk about two of the more um, popular notebooks from Chic Sparrow, at least from what I've been researching a little bit on YouTube. A lot of people have this um, Austin line. I think the Mr. Darcy leather was similar to this. It does scratch up easily. This is the black version, so 
I think the color was called Nightly. And then another very popular option um, from the Chic Sparrow is the Creme Brulee. This just arrived in the mail today, um, but it is smells wonderful. It smells kind of like the Vanderspeck. It has a great leather smell to it. And there's some of the inside pocket details. Uh, but yeah, just a nice brown, a little bit of stiffness, but still has some bendability and floppiness to it. So it should mold pretty well around your inserts. But that is the creme brulee. Again, you can just tell like this is a shiny um, finish that scratches easy. This one is not. So depending on what type of leather you like, um, that might help make your decision. This I had to grab off the shelf um, as I'm sitting here talking about the Moterm. So this is the Moterm that I showed you in the beginning of the video. This is a like a Croco finish. Now, I don't think that this is real leather. It can't be um, just for the price range alone. Um, but yeah, they do offer this Croco finish, but they also offer this pebbled version, which looks more to me, well, let me preface this. This is the only Croco type of planner I own. So I don't have like a Giulio Croco, Matt Croco, or anything like that to compare this to. So this is the Moterm. It's the only Croco finish that I have. This pebbled leather from Moterm, I say leather, I don't, again, I don't think it's real leather, um, is meant to feel probably more like um, a different type of leather. So looks like it has more texture. This is the olive green. Here it is against the Vander Speck. Um, but just a different type of finish. So the important thing for me um, in filming this video, which I hope was helpful for you, was talking about the dimensions of all of them, the different spines, um, and how many elastics or inserts they can hold. Um, because to me, those are equally as important as picking a leather. So, for example, in my current setup, I think I have six or seven maybe inserts. It's pretty chunky. And I know that even though I love this Giulio, there is absolutely no way because of how narrow it is and because of the elastics, that I could fit those inserts in here. Like they would be hanging way out. I would not be able to close this, not even close. So when you're picking um, a notebook, I would say first, think about what type of leather you like. Right now I'm really enjoying this um, Austin Knightley from the Chic Sparrow, but also think about how many inserts and how many um, decorative dashboards and um, you know just how full you're gonna stuff it because all of those things change your experience with the notebook so I hope that helped hope that gave you guys a little bit of background on some of the notebooks available on the market today and if you have any questions about anything I would happy to try to answer them for you to help you pick the perfect notebook for your planning needs. I really appreciate you guys dropping in and watching. Hope you have a great day or evening wherever you're at and I'll see you back next time.